good afternoon. Um, slightly different angle today. I'm not sure. Facebook just updated today or something. So apparently I can't do horizontal Facebook lives today. So we'll see what happens. Um, I will see if that changes tomorrow. But I thought I'd give a quick chat today because I'm right now in the midst of a head cold to consider a topic which I call, to call self-care. And what I'm speaking to particularly is the challenge we face when we're very invested in things outside ourselves. Um, it's something I've become very, I've become aware of watching other people who stress themselves out, particularly around love and relationships. And yes, I've been talking about Valentine's Day because it comes up in like a month's time. And there's a consistency I'm noticing with people who start to get, um, I want to say bent out of shape, but certainly provoked or stressed, maybe a better word, stressed out about Valentine's Day. If they don't have a date or if in a relationship, what they have to do for Valentine's Day. Now, I did a whole conversation yesterday about the, um, um, yes, it was about, yes, it was talking about the hallmark occasion of Valentine's Day. And today I thought I'd do a little talk. It's funny, it's weird. I'm, I'm used to doing talks this way wide, but because my phone won't, won't turn, won't give me to do Facebook Live horizontally, I'm like, I put my hands in here. So it feels very weird. Okay. <laughs> Self conscious, I guess. So my awareness on this is that a lot of people get stressed out about Valentine's Day. And having, say, being through the middle of a head cold right now, I'm definitely feeling that um, need to lay low and take care of myself. I've been actually doing very little today intentionally to allow my body to regroup and, re and, and reset. And the thing is, for most people, they get so caught up in the world out there that they forget about themselves. And on Valentine's Day, like any other time, it can be a very challenging time to be because we end up getting caught up in this paradigm well, we need to get results. Like we want to make sure we have the right date and we take care of our partner or we want to get a date for the Valentine's Day. And all the stress that comes up on that. Let me just say this from my point of view. Being stressed on dates is not healthy. And being stressed on dates isn't pretty either. So if you want to go on dates and have some good time, you want to be um, calmer. That's not the right word I'm looking for. But supporting yourself and being connected to yourself and being present. Those qualities don't usually show up when you're stressed. So my suggestion to you, and, and I hope it sticks for you, is you've got to take care of yourself. And I do have a, I do have a bunch of stuff I talk about with clients about how to take care of themselves better. I have a self-love meditation. Um, a few other things I talk about that help you get better off in supporting yourself. And I'll put the self-love meditation in the comments. You can check it out for yourself. But I'm saying that because we are often negligent about taking care of ourselves. And self-love is one of those keys because when you start taking care of yourself, and loving yourself, you become more self-aware to be more centered on taking care of yourself and having what you want in life. It's amazing what happens when you're sick. <laughs> I should say, amazing what happens when I'm sick. Let me clear on that one myself. But noticing these things come up in my thoughts as I was sitting today, just not doing anything particularly strenuous because I want to let my body heal. I mean, I, I had a rough night just stuffed up from the cold. It was just a head cold. It's nothing major. But the price I was paying, if I tried to stress, would be too high. So I said, you know what, I'm taking care of myself today. So apart from my Facebook Live and a couple of phone calls, I've kept it down real low in my time today intentionally to put myself first. Now, I'm grateful. I have a, a lifestyle and career that allows me to be flexible this way. So I don't have to worry about being a nine to five office. And I know some people out there do have that. But the thing is, do you sometimes push harder than you'd rather, when you should rather take care of yourself? Now, the, the challenge we have, and this is one thing that really Am I going? Back? Yeah, I guess I'm going to go here. In in the business world, we have this thing where there's only a limited number of sick days a year. Like you're only allowed to have four sick days a year, whatever it is, three or ten, whatever it is. Now, how do they govern that? And how does a, com a company have authority over you when you get sick and you take care of yourself? Well, you can't take care of yourself. Now, I have a certain rebellious streak about this, so I'm not going to go down that path too far. I might piss some people off and upset some people. And, and yeah, all right. I'm not going to go with that. So my point about this, though, is around relationships and Valentine's Day, and come back to that, is we start to get stressed out by things out there. And one of the challenges I talk about a lot with people is we get triggered by external references versus taking care of ourselves inside. So my invitation to you, my encouragement to you, is to look in the mirror first and decide how you want to respond to what's out of the world. So response versus reaction is a big shift, by the way. If you get that piece in life and you get the piece of understanding that everything happens out there is an opportunity to respond versus a requirement to react your life will change completely. That's part of what I'm teaching in my um, BFF Masterclass. I'll put a link in the comments for that too. 
because it's about balance, freedom, and flow. And if you have autonomy in yourself and you have sort of sense of self-support and self-care, then you will have much more autonomy and much more success in your life as well because you won't be driven by external options. Give me. You won't be um, triggered by external references. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate the love. Um, and so my point is that this is really is put yourself first. You know, a lot of things I offer in my, my coaching and course and coursework is self-centered. And I mean that from the point of view of being centered on yourself, not egotistical, just to be clear. And that's part of it too. For those of us who are caring, compassionate people, we sometimes think that if we take care of ourselves, we're being egotistical. Not true. When you're screwing other people because you want to take care of yourself before them as an arrogant attitude, that's egotistical. But when you take care of yourself by nurturing yourself so you can be more effective in the world and be more connected to the people around you, that is not ego, that's heart. And I'm a passionate champion for that in my work. So I hope this makes some sense to you. It's, it's going to keep this short because I haven't used my voice that much today. I want to keep it safe. So I'm not going to overdo it. But I mentioned two things. I'm going to put the comment in the comments. My self-love meditation and my um, BFF masterclass because both of those will help you navigate back to more support for yourself, more love for yourself, and more fulfillment for yourself so you can have what you want in your life. So your homework, your homework if you choose to take this on, is look at places in your life where you react all the time and see if you can disengage enough to see, okay, how do I want to respond? How do I want to be balanced in myself? And if it's Valentine's Day in particular, because that's less than a month away, maybe you're already starting to get that um, stress, upset stomach from like, oh crap, what am I going to do for that? My first thing is stop doing that. My second recommendation is look at the day as what you can do to play. And do you even care about it? Because Valentine's Day is a hallmark holiday. It's not a requirement to stress out, just to be clear. So with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up. It's going to keep taking care of myself. And I say, this is a weird format. Normally, the Facebook Live is horizontal. But Facebook would not let me go live horizontally today. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So um, with that, I thank you for watching. I will give you uh, the replays. We can find the replays that normally that way around, not this way around. Um, and also, wait, the links will be in the comments for my, my self-love meditation and the BFF Masterclass. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. Thanks for joining me. Come join me any day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. Again, usually this way around, not this way around. <laughs> um, and also, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can watch the replays on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, where at least 200 are visible, not all of them by any means. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine, where every single one of my talks is saved, safe and secure and listed from newest to oldest. You can go search through those, the titles, keywords that speak to you, and for navigation to what you want to get. So with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me as always. I'll be back in tomorrow. We'll see if the phone will let me do a horizontal broadcast. Um, and that's about it. Uh, thanks for being with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow. So please take care of yourself, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.